Anything is possible one stroke at a time. At first glance, a Zentango creation can seem intricate and complicated, but when you learn how it's done, you realize how simple it is. Sort of like learning the secret behind a magic trick. Then when you create a piece of Zentangle art, you realize how fun and absorbing the process itself is. I love presenting in a workshop setting with people who are convinced they can't draw. Then within 15 minutes, they have easily accomplished what they thought was impossible. This is one of my favorite Zentangle moments because then I ask, what else do you know that you can't do? You can transfer that insight and experience of success and accomplishment to any life experience. Something may look complicated, but now you know that you can do it one simple stroke at a time. Zentangle is a language unto itself. Zentangle provides the opportunity for the individual to reach a calm and relax relaxed state of mind. Zentangle is not just an art form, but also a form of meditation, mindfulness, and stress reduction. One refrains from planning and allows the lines and shapes to unintentionally emerge on the paper. Some of the benefits of Zentangle are calming an anxious mind, increasing self-confidence, simple and portable. There are no mistakes. With the Zentangle method, anyone can create beautiful images from repetitive patterns. It's easy to learn and easy to do. So start with simple patterns and progress to beautiful patterns. It's fun and relaxing. Creating Zentangle art provides a fun and lighthearted way to relax and intentionally facilitate a shift in focus and perspective. The Zentangle method is sufficiently structured and organized so you can enjoy and benefit from an activity that otherwise might be considered whimsical. No mistakes. A Zentangle is always a Zentangle. You can't fail. If you feel you made a mistake, take that as an opportunity to suggest that even though you did something unexpected or unintended, since there is no eraser, it gives you a chance to use that mistake as a base for new and unexpected patterns. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, a man named Rick, Rick Roberts, a former monk and maker of a Native American flutes, was watching a woman Maria Thomas, a tremendously talented calligrapher, putting details into a manuscript she was working on. And the rest is history. But they explain more in their book, The Book of Zentangle. One day, Maria told Rick what she experienced as she drew background patterns on a manuscript she was creating. She described her feelings of timelessness, freedom, and well-being, and complete focus on what she was doing with no thought or worry of anything else. You're describing meditation, Rick said. Rick and Maria wondered if they could create a simple system so others might enjoy a similar experience. And so began the journey towards discovering this simple and elegant system called Zentangle. Little did they know that it would grow this quickly and touch as many lives in as many ways as it has. I have been personally taught by Rick and Maria to very generous and warm people. I hope to help others the way they helped me. Included in this course is a PDF to download to continue your Zentangle practice. It includes the directions to complete the patterns shown in this class and a few more to make unique art cards. This was the welcome sign created by Rick and Maria as I entered my Zentangle certification. Join me as we journey into Zentangle. In the next video, I'll show you some simple tools to get you started.